everybody, this is the Mega Rail Soda, and today, actually, for, yeah, for the last couple of days, I, I apologise for not actually doing a video, that was my fault, and I should have actually done that, but, now I'm actually back, and I'm actually playing a game on Shadowverse, apologies about that, if you saw that, or heard that, so, what we're actually going to be doing today, is that I'm actually going to be playing one of my decks, and... It's all about puppet control. So it's called Puppeteer Standby by you and a portal craft. And I will preview the deck for you. So the whole idea is you revolve around Shion. So she gives all 1-1 one, one plus if you accelerate for 5, which I don't think I will. To all ally non-artifact followers. Now she gives a plus 2-2 two, two to all artifact allied followers, which is actually not that bad. But at the same time... A fan fest to make sure that your leader does not take more than one damage at a time. So this is really good because she can't be targeted, well, destroyed by spells and effects. So, in other words, you target her, nah, it ain't going to happen because she still gets that on her evolved. Which is actually really handy. Everything else is substantial for um, a puppet kind of deck. So you have Silver Automaton, his last words are to put two puppets in your hand. And he has Ward, so they can't attack the leader, they have to get through him first. Pull the strings to banish a enemy follower, it costs two or less, and he puts him to your side as an ally uh, follower. But if you have resonance active, he put it puts a follow uh, a puppet follower into your hand. Also have Liam, Master of Puppets, so Fanfare put a puppet into your hand, or the evolved to put a Svi Murderous puppet into your hand and subtract one from its cost, which is actually really good. Um, I will show you that in the game. Automate on Knight to add a puppet to your hand. Toy Soldier to add a puppet to your hand. Mia. She's really good because if you play her as a 7 cost, like Fanfare Enhanced 7, she gains a plus 3-3 three, three and puts two puppets into your hand. And then when another ally follow evolves, put a puppet into your hand. So she's actually not that bad. Now... The main strategy with this is that you want to get all your low costs as quickly as you can. Yes, I might lose some games. I can't help it. But, I will show you in game exactly how this plays. So, I shouldn't have probably gone to solo. So, we're actually going to go to multi. We're going to play an unranked match in rotation. And we're actually going to be playing against... I have no idea who. Our biggest weakness, to be fair... It's probably going to be Bloodcraft, I say Dragoncraft, or Havencraft. Because they're very aggro, depending on what deck style they're going to be playing for. If it's Fairy Beatdown, because of the 6 drop, or if it's Dragoncraft, because of the Hellflame Dragons, it all depends on who they are. So, I believe, because of the background, it would be Forestcraft. Oh, we're against Dragoncraft. What a surprise. Oh, boy. But we go first. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. That's for your family, is it? Oh, right then. So, we have actually a Mia, a Liam, and a Lokoko. He put back two. Wow. Okay. So, against Dragoncraft, we want to be very careful in what their playstyle is, like I just said. We can't do nothing, so we have to end our turn. But the next time, we're going to go out for a Mia. Because we can't exactly go for Lokoko, because we don't have five. Which really sucks. And here we go. We can actually go out into Mia. So, Mia, coming out. Thank you very much. Perfect. Give me one second as well whilst he's doing his turn. So, here we are. Sorry about that. That was only a couple of seconds. So, depending on what the Dragoncraft guy is going to want to do, unless he brings out... Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Um, We can give a random out life one. Um, Bring out you. Yeah, we can bring out you. And boom, there we go. So, two. I don't feel like this guy's going to be able to do much. If we bring out Liam, Master of Puppets next turn, we're good to go. We're all set. But I reckon he's waiting very, very patiently. We need to get out her to give all of our non-allied, uh, non-artifact allied followers plus one. I'm thinking about making an artifact deck for this Portal Craft deck because it's so much fun to play. Knew it, evolved the follower on five. But I reckon you're going to be going after... Oh, hello. Deal three. Ouch. That hurt. 
Okay, so now we can actually kill you, so that's really good. That's handy for us. So, go you. Bring out a puppet. Bring you out for a zero cost, because it's really handy. Kill you. And then we can swing for two into you. Perfect. So that's practically what the deck is. You summon out your followers. They get puppets to your hand. And there you go. You're good. You're good to go. You are good to go. You are not going to waste any more time. It all depends if they bring out... Oh, here we go. Summon two basilisks. Ouch. Ouch. This is going to hurt. Unless... Um, bring out a puppet, go into you. Yeah, we don't really have much choice. We have to bring a puppet to our hand because we cannot let one of our creatures die. Alright, you got Bane, so kill you, kill you. Evolve. Yep, you're now going to a 5 6, so now you're down to 11. And we have a Svi who summons a Victoria now. If you evolve Svi, he lets Victoria attack twice. And that is amazing. I love this deck for what it is. We're going to have to go pull the string soon, but that's if. If they go through with the idea, which I hope they do. Because we can bring out Svi next turn, no problem. But I really want to bring out a two cost. Which I don't think they would. Uh oh. Haha! -ha. Are you gonna evolve? No, you're not. If another arrow is in play, doing damage to a follower. Oof. Perfect. Actually, that's even better for us. Whoa! Hello. Oh, you just lost one of your guys. Lol! Are you gonna evolve or not? Yep, you are. You're gonna go into a 4 4? 4 5, sorry. Okay. Alright, that's alright. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yep. No. Okay, because now we can actually do this. Are we ready? Unless... Oh, I've just thought of an even better play. Right, you. Last word, put a puppet. Put a puppet. And then... Do we evolve you to put a puppet into our hand? Or do we just swing? Because then I can clear your board. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait. Right, five. And now I think you can actually... Yep, you got overflow. Oh, boy. This is going to be hell. I was tempted to bring out Spy to put in Victoria and then let her evolve, but... Don't think that's going to happen now. I should have just banished. I should have just banished. My fault. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Oh! That actually hurt. We got that, though. Yeah, we did get another pull of strings. Oh boy. Who are you swinging into? And you evolved. Ouchies. We got a puppet though. That's three. Yep, that's another puppet. Cool. Alright, not bad, not bad. Oh, we have you. Do I do it? I'm not really sure. Can't banish though, which really sucks. So silver automaton. You, you can get you, get you. You evolved as a three, so we can kill you, kill you, and then swing afterwards. You don't have any last words, so kill you. The use you do damage, yeah, clash. So kill you. Yeah, buddy. There we are. Perfect, you're dead. Now we've got Ward. So now we can't do nothing to us. If he doesn't do anything and I go for Shion, I think I win. I just really hope. Because he's on six. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please, no. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Yes. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Evolve. Go on, do it. You won't. <gasps> we win. Yes. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Um, does Victoria get Rush? 
She gets rush. <sighs> oh, that really does help. Oh, I really want to do that. We put a pup into her hand, but we get... Oh, I'm sorry, I had to go for Spy. Oh, that's really annoying. What do you get? You get follow strike. Right. I have to do that. Perfect. Five. Oh my god, we're so close to winning. We are so close. Come on. What's your cost to summon your three? Right. He's got five cards to our five cards. So if we can bring out something, that'll be handy. We do have... Oh. There's no one else I'd rather lose. Hey, we won! Woo! Puppets! Puppets are too strong, my dude. And we've got the 150 to level up. Perfect. Reach level 10 and portal craft. Hey! Perfect. So, that actually wasn't too bad. I'll give it that. That game was kind of fast. But at the same time, no, I give you him his preps. So we're just going to go off to the home screen. That was only the one game, I know. But next time, I will show off more because this deck is fun. I will actually have three games next time, and I promise that for sure. This is to my friend Prime. If you're watching, which I hope you are, this is my puppet deck. I know he's going to comment in, in the comments below, knowing him. But... Yeah, for that video, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, don't remember to leave us. Don't forget to even subscribe or even leave a like because the Puppet Squad needs you. The Puppet Squad needs you. I think that's going to be a thing from now on. The Puppet Squad. Yeah, I like the ring to that. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to carry on and watching the rest of this series tomorrow, I will do another video for actually missing out on the last couple of days. It'll be two videos probably tomorrow. That. And Teppan as well, because I've missed out on that too, which is my fault. So, until then, this has been the Mega Absolia, and from all, at the Puppet Squad. Pull them strings, boys. See you later.